whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. You know, baptism is such an exciting thing. And it is, uh, it's something that a lot of these people have been waiting so long for. And, you know, we stick them in front of a camera and we say, hey, you know, answer all these questions. We're going to answer your bus of questions and we want you to answer them and tell us about your faith walk and tell us about being baptized and tell us all this stuff. And it's just like, it can be overwhelming for them. So have a little bit of grace as you watch the video and you watch them and you watch them. This is their first time ever doing anything like this, ever being in front of a camera. This is their first time stepping out in faith and proclaiming their faith in front of everyone. It's a big deal and it's, it's exciting and it's also nerve-wracking, you know? Um, being baptized and giving your life to Christ, it is a, it is a trial. It is, it is a struggle sometimes. Sometimes things don't go well. Christ didn't come and give his life so that we could be saved, so that we wouldn't have struggles, so that we wouldn't have turmoil, so that everything would be happy and cushy in our life. You know, he came so that we could be saved, so that we could have a relationship with him. And he's very serious about about the fact that we have to pick up our cross and carry it. Hi, my name is Zinnia and I'm getting baptized today. My name is Ronnie Hare and I'm getting baptized today. And how he is definitely, I feel in my heart, my Lord and Savior at this present day, it's, it's just unexplainable and it's something supernatural. I decided to get baptized because I just wanted to encourage my communication and my relationship with God. I feel like me dedicating myself to God and it's a big step. It's a big deal. I was baptized when I was younger. Um, I was raised Catholic. And as an adult, I feel like it's more meaningful to me because I am willingly giving myself to God. And that's the reason why I want to get baptized. Hi, my name is Glenice, and I'm getting baptized today. Hi, my name is Connor, and I'm getting baptized today. Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm getting baptized today. May bad the salts. May baptized today. Hi, I'm Thomas. I'm getting baptized today. Hi, my name is Yolanda, and I'm getting baptized today. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. That's when I felt like I was saved, when I opened up my heart and my mind and my arms to Jesus. Everyone knew my whole story. You, you would <laughs> you'd believe in God if you weren't a believer. <laughs> it's, it's just amazing. What are you waiting for? A year ago. I feel like it was God's plan for me. This is the next step in an ultimate plan, and this is just the beginning. I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Because for a long time, my life was in total chaos. My old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Two years ago, um, I decided that I, you know, did believe in God and Jesus and it took me some time, but I'm here. Nice. <laughs> uh, probably when I almost died. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Made me realize that life's too short. Uh, about four years ago, when I, uh, he saved my life at work more than once, and I decided it wasn't luck at that point anymore. It was, it was God's blessing. And I just didn't know where else to turn. You know, sometimes as a person, you get embarrassed of a certain situation that you're in and you don't know who to turn to. And I got on my knees and I turned to God and I said, God, please, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I need you to help me. I feel like my life is a miracle. My, my, me today is a miracle from where I was to where I am. That's when I felt like I was saved, when I opened up my heart and my mind and my arms to Jesus. When did you give your life to Jesus? Four years ago. Excellent. Uh, a million and one. <laughs> a lot. Oh, yeah, there was many roadblocks to me thinking about what to do, which path to go on. But I found it the right path to what to do. Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to spirit.
you should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. If you know anything about Change Point Church, you know that we're crazy. Crazy for Jesus. And uh, some of us here, we, we say that if you've ever been here more than four times, that you're family. So uh, what I want to encourage you is that as you watch the people get baptized, as you watch people come in and give their lives to Christ week after week, what I want to encourage you is to be a part of these people's family. Make yourselves a part of their family. If you're praying for them, let them know that you're praying for them. Go up to them. Take them out to lunch. Be a part of the family. Like I said, we're a little bit crazy, and if you've been here more than four times, we consider you family, and we take that seriously. Be a part of the family. Get involved. Make yourself a part of our lives. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Who are you today? A better man with God. No matter what happens, he's always there to forgive. You know, if it's hard to forgive yourself, it's, it's really, a, a really a blessing. Everything that I've gone through, he's found me a way out of it, and I've always ended up in a better place, and I know that wasn't of my own doing. So good. Jesus had his hand on me the whole time, and I wholeheartedly believe this. I am a, a sure sure sign that God is real and he loves me. An overwhelming sense of calmness that no matter what storm, no matter what obstacle we're presented with, I just have a calming sense of peace that I didn't have before. Therefore go and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I'm a totally different person. I've forgiven, I've prayed, and I believe that he has saved me. And to never give up, like that's the most important thing, never give up. And once you have faith and once you know the love of Jesus, you know that you will never give up. He never gave up for us. I am so excited about being baptized. I've been talking about it every day. I am so excited. You know, he came so that we could be saved, so that we could have a relationship with him. And he's very serious about the fact that we have to pick up our cross and carry it. Uh, all of these people who are here being baptized today, in some way, some shape, some fashion, they have picked up their cross and they're carrying it. They have been through life struggles. They've, they've, they've pursued this thing the whole way through. We're so thankful for them and we're so excited for them. Let's everybody give a big shout. And I'm so excited to, to be taking part of this um, in front of the church. And the church has become our family. We started going uh, in January and every week we're greeted so, so with so much love. And it, it gives us a sense of, wow, we have a family in the church and we're new. And every week someone comes up to us to speak to us. And it just makes me more excited to get baptized because I know that God loves me. Our family here loves me. You know, and our church family is loving and supporting us every step of the way. Definitely. And as they say in the military, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Great job, Ron.